कि आज हम करना कि पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन इन एल्जेब्रा वी हैव अ फ्रैक्शन x plus one two over x plus three we said please represent this in a single fraction so you started with that with the lcm 3 into x plus 3 plus 2 into x plus 1 simplify this one 3x plus 9 equals to 2x plus 2 over x plus 1 and x plus 3 5x 5x plus 11 over x plus 1 and x plus 3. It is called a single fraction and it is called the partial fraction. Now in A levels, P3 paper, they gave you the question 5x plus 7. It is the first time. First time, five x plus eleven over x plus one and x plus three. Convert this into the partial fraction. Now, in a denominator, if we have two brackets, x plus one, x plus three, then please write down like this: x plus one plus b over x plus three. A fraction for x plus one and another fraction for x plus three. Now the same steps. Take the LCM. First step is to convert this into the partial fraction by letting the two constants a and b. It depends. Types of partial fraction depends on the denominator. There is no square, no x square, no whole square. The simple brackets. Then we will convert into the simple constants a over x plus one plus b over x plus three. Second step is take the LCM x plus one and x plus three a into x plus three plus b into x plus one five x. Plus eleven over x plus one and x plus three. Cancel out the denominators as both the sides are identical. Then five x plus eleven equals to a into x plus three plus b into x plus one. Now from that onward, we have two methods. One is by comparing the coefficient, and other one. By letting the values. Now, I will use letting the values method. Put x equals to minus one. Put x equals to minus one, then b becomes zero. You can put x equals to zero, one, to any value. But what value will be the suitable in which a one constant becomes zero? You can put x equals to minus three. X equals to minus three. With the help of minus three, a becomes zero. Now, first, x minus one on both sides. Five into minus one plus eleven. A minus one plus three. B minus one plus one. This becomes zero. Two a. Minus five plus eleven six equals to two a and a equals to three. First answer a equals to three. Now put x equals to minus three. And this equation put x equals to minus three five. 
5 into minus 3 plus 11 equals to minus 3. A minus 3 plus 3, it becomes 0. And plus B minus 3 plus 1. It is minus 2B. Minus 2B equals to 5 threes are minus 15. Minus 15 plus 11. Minus 4 equals to minus 2B. Then B equals to 2. A equals to 3 and B equals to 2. Replace these values in the first, which is 5x, 5x plus 11 over x plus 1 and x plus 3 equals to 3 over x plus 1 and plus 2 over x plus 3. It is the first time. A single fraction and a partial fraction. When you said convert it into the partial fraction, write down the partial fraction of that. x plus 1, x plus 3. Write down x plus a over x plus 1 and b over x plus 3. Then take the LCM. First step, second step, LCM. And then cancel out this LCM denominator. Cancel with denominator. So numerators are equal. Numerator is 5x plus 11 and a into x plus 3 plus b to x plus 1. I replace first x equals to minus 1 so that one constant become equals to 0. So with the help of x minus 1, when I put x minus 1 on both sides, this b becomes 0 and I get the value of A. A equals to 3. Then I put X equals to minus 3. With the help of this minus 3, A becomes 0. And I got the value of B which is equals to 2. Now the second type, type 2. Type 2 may have 5x plus 3 over x plus 1 and x plus 2 whole square. Denominator pretty much. What is this type? If we have a whole square, then we can break this a over x plus 1 and then plus without square plus b over without square x plus 2 plus c over x plus 2 square. <coughs> It is the simple one x plus 1, a over x plus 1. Now for the whole square, it will be b over x plus 1 without square and then again c over x plus 2 whole square. Second step is LCM. And LCM is same. LCM of the denominator x plus 1, x plus 2 whole square. LCM will be the same as it is. A x plus 1 cancel out with x plus 1, x plus 2 whole square plus b x plus 2 1 cancel out. We left with x plus 1 and x plus 2 plus c x plus 2 whole square cancel out with x plus 2 whole square then c x plus 1. 5x plus 3 over x plus 1 into x plus 2 whole square. First step is write down its partial fraction. 
by letting the three constants because we have a whole square. One is a over x plus one, then b over without square and plus c over with square. Second step is take the LCM. LCM will be the same. Don't be confused. LCM will be the same. Now a x plus one cancel out with x plus one. We left with x plus two whole square. Okay. Then b over x plus two. X plus two cancel out with one x plus two. We left with one x plus two and x plus one. X plus one x plus two. Then c over x plus two whole square complete cancel out. Then c into x plus one. Denominator. Now numerators are five x plus three equals to a into x plus two whole square plus b x plus one x plus two and let's see x plus one. As I said, I prefer to use that by letting the values x equals to minus one. I am putting x equals to minus one. When I put the value of x equals to minus one, I got c. C becomes zero. Then minus one plus one. This becomes zero. Multiplied with x plus two and b, it is also zero. So c and b both will be equals to zero. A minus one plus two whole square. B and c. Plus b minus one plus one minus one plus two plus c minus one plus one. There is no need to write down these; they become zero. So five into minus one plus three. It is minus five plus three minus five plus three, which is equals to minus two. So. B and C are zeros. Minus one plus two, one one square one, A. So A equals to minus two. Now replace x equals to x equals to minus two by letting the value x equals to minus two. Five. 5 into minus 2 plus 3 equals to a minus 2 plus 2 becomes 0 plus b minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus 2 again it is also 0 minus 2 plus 2 0 plus C minus two plus one. We left with C minus ten plus three equals to a zero. B also zero minus two plus one cancel out zero. So C is minus two plus one minus C minus C. Now C equals to minus C equals to minus seven, and this implies that C equals to seven. We got the value of C. We got the value of A. Now there is no suitable value. We left with that. If we replace the value of x, so this becomes zero. C becomes zero, and A becomes zero. So we don't have any value. At this stage, when you have the two constants A and C, put x equals to zero. To get the third value, just by putting x equals to zero, it is very easy. X equals replace x equals to zero on both the sides. Five becomes zero, five zero plus three. Only we left with three. Zero plus two, two square four, four a, four a. Zero and zero, two b, two b. Zero plus one one c plus c. Now replace the values of a four into minus two plus two 
b plus 7, 3, 4 2s are minus 8 plus 2b plus 7, 3, minus 1 plus 1, 4, 4 equals to 2b and b equals to 2. These are the three values. Now write down the partial fraction. What is a minus 2? Minus 2 over x plus 1. Plus what is b? b is 2. 2 over x plus 2. And what is c? c equals to 7 plus 7 over x plus 2 whole square. It is the second type of partial fraction. Now, the third type, <coughs> how many third type? x plus 2 over x plus 1 and x square plus 2. It is not whole square. It is x square plus 2. When we have a x square in the denominator, 1 is the simple one, x plus 1, a over x plus 1. When we have a square in the denominator, x square plus 2, we will use two constants. One with the variable bx plus c. When we have an x square in the denominator, x square, then the two constants will be in the numerator bx plus c. Now the second step is take the LCM and LCM will be the same. x plus 1 and x square plus 2. A x square plus 2 plus b x plus c equals to 3x plus 2 over x plus 1 and x square plus 2 denominator a into x square plus 2 plus bx plus c into x plus 1, 3x plus 2. Now replace the suitable values of x. When we have the third type, x square in the denominator and a constant and variable, then it is very feasible that put x equals to 0. Okay. Now we started with x equals to minus 1. First we will put x equals to minus 1. Then x equals to 0. Replace x equals to minus 1. It becomes 3 into minus 1 plus 2 equals 2. When x equals to minus 1, minus 1 plus 1 this becomes 0, the whole term becomes 0. So minus 1 square is 1, 2 plus 1, a minus 1 square plus 2, 2 plus 1, 3, a, 3, a equals to minus 3 plus 2. So a equals to minus 1 over 3. A equals to minus 1 over 3. Now x equals to 0. This becomes 0. 2 equals to 0. 2a. 0. C. 0. C1 the C plus C. Replace the value of a minus 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3 plus c equals to 2. 2 plus 2 by 3. 8 over 3 
equals to C. We have the value of A and C, then replace any value of X except that minus 1. X equals to 1. 3, 1, the 3 plus 2, 5. 5 equals to 1, 2 plus 1, 3, A. 3, A plus B plus C, 1 plus 1, 2, 2B two plus 2C. Two so, replace the value of A, minus 1 over 3, plus B plus 8 over 3 into 2, equals to 5, cancel out, minus 1, 5 plus 2b plus 16 over 3, 6 minus 16 over 3 equals to 2b, 18 minus 16, take the LCM, it will be 18, 18 minus 16 is 2 by 3, 2 by 3 equals to 2b, cancel out 2, so b equals to 1 over 3, b equals to 1 over 3, a equals to minus 1 over 3, and c equals to 8 over 3. This become minus 1 over a is minus 1 over 3 into x plus 1 plus b is 1 over 3x 1 over 3x and c is 8 over 3 8 over 3 3 will be the LCM over x square plus 2 3 will be the LCM and then the partial fraction can be written like this and this portion I am writing the partial fraction minus 1 over 3 into x plus 1 plus x plus 8 over 3 into x square plus 2. It is the partial fraction of 3x plus 2 over x plus 1 and x square plus 2. These are the three types and all the types depends on the denominator. If we have, if we have the first type, if we have in a denominator x square 5x plus 2 over x plus 1 x plus 2 whole square then it is the second type whole square it will be open like this a over x plus 1 plus b over x plus 2 plus c over x plus 2 whole square without square with square and if we have 5x minus 7 over x plus 1 and x plus 2 it can be written like this b over x plus 2 so these are the three types type number 3 type number 2 type number 1 look at the denominator it is x plus 1, x square plus 2. It is x plus 1, x plus 2, whole square. x plus 1, x plus 2, there is no square. It is x square. When we have a x square, then a constant and a variable. bx plus c, the two constants and one variable. If we have a whole square, then we will use two constants. One is b over without square and c over with square. These are the three types and all the three types depends on the denominator. Okay.